Hello everyone and welcome back to Varabanda. So guys in this video I'm going to show you how to install Havoc OS 3.0 GSI in Realme 3 Pro. Guys I'm not going to show you full ROM review in this video but I will show you the final verdict of this GSI and um, what are the issues and bugs in this GSI. So keep watching the video I will tell you about the final verdict of the GSI in the end of the video. So guys first of all on whatever ROM you are just disable the screen lock and fingerprint from the security settings. Then download Havoc with 3.0 GSI from the link given in the description. The file is compressed in a .exe format so you have to extract it using Archiever file explorer which you can find on the play store. Just look at the screen at the left side you can see how I'm extracting .img from .exe file. So you can extract it just like this and then we will reboot into the recovery guys i will suggest you to install a morinos twip recovery for this process because it is best in my opinion so just install morinos recovery and then reboot into the recovery i'll put a link for morinos recovery in the description you can download and install from there okay after then now we are in the twip recovery by morinos then uh, the first thing we are going to do is make a full backup of the current rom and system and data if you want so uh, how we can make data is click on the backup button and select the storages or mount points whatever you want to uh, uh, make a backup of so i'm only creating a backup for data because i am already having the rom zip file and uh, the related file so i will flash them and then restore my data if something goes wrong after creating a backup just go to the wipe section and select the following things dalvik cache cache system and data and wipe all of them do not wipe vendor and internal storage so guys after wiping just reboot to the recovery once guys we have to reboot to the recovery several times just follow the steps carefully don't miss any step so guys after rebooting just uh, find the havoc os image and flash it as a system image this should not take more than 30 seconds so just wait for 30 seconds and then flashing is done then click on back button again back 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 and then wipe advanced wipe system repair to change file system resize file system and swipe to resize the file system so we have uh, resized the system partition here now go back again back and click on install then click on install image and flash this file which is called boot gsi i will put a link for this also flash it as a boot image then go to reboot and recovery reboot recovery once again so as i told you we have to reboot several times into the recovery again and again guys don't miss any step here now we can install gapps for android 10 because have a quest 3.0 is based on android 10 after that we can also install the majisk if you want to root your um, uh, ROM or GSI we can install Majisk but reboot to the recovery before that so again we are into the recovery click on install and then go to wherever your Majisk zip file is flash it through this recovery so after flushing Majisk our GSI will be rooted also so now just wait for the Majisk so okay it is done now wipe caches again go back and reboot to the system guys now system will reboot and it will uh, reboot once again like this and it should boot this time if it fails we have to fix another thing so let's check so this is realme logo and guys it is right it pushed me back into the recovery so there is some issue with the encryption of our file system so just uh, into the recovery just click on mount and then mount the data partition and system partition and then go to advanced file manager data and delete everything from here except the media folder just delete everything every file and every folder except media folder and majisk folder okay so just keep majisk and media folder here and delete everything else do not delete media folder or you will lose your internal storage also so just wipe everything except media and uh, majisk then we can click on reboot again and this time our uh, rom should reboot once again so let us check yes rebooted once again and this time it will show you the android logo for havoc os okay guys so we have successfully flashed havoc os 3.0 gsi this is on android 10 and as you can see this is the havoc os logo now we are on the setup process so guys uh, let us start the setup from here click on start okay so there is an issue with the first boot touch so there is a fixed file for this also flash this also i will put a link in description just lock your display and uh, re unlock to uh, use the touch then set your password and whatever set up your device and then we will on the home screen of uh, have a quest 3.0 so this is the home screen of have a quest as you can see let me go to the settings and show you guys this is a phs uh, based treble uh, GSI so as you can see here PHH treble is written here vanilla 
and uh, this is Android 10 Havoc OS 3.0 so we have successfully flashed Havoc OS 3.0 guys I'm not going to uh, review this ROM right now because uh, I have some work to do if you guys want me to review this uh, ROM or GSI complete then comment on this video and if there are more than 30 comments then I will create a video for this also so right now I'm going to show you what are the bugs and issue in a written format